Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not new here, welcome back. All right, y'all, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. I, we have hit 10,000 subscribers. Well, technically I think we're at like, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. We're now at 10,500 subscribers, but the point of the video is to celebrate that we hit 10,000 subscribers. Listen, listen, I know that there's some YouTubers out there that got 100,000, 200,000, 500, thousand millions of subscribers I'm happy and thankful that I got one technically I was the first person <laughs> to subscribe to my channel Loser. This is awesome. You guys, you you know that I love doing this. I love putting in the work, which I put in a lot of work and I make these videos. And I have so much fun doing it and it's such a creative escape for me and I get to interact with people and I've made friends from doing this. I've built re like relationships with people online. It's crazy and I love it and I'm so happy to be doing this and I wanted to celebrate. <laughs> anyway, oh, ooh, 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 wait a minute. I gotta show you my shirt. I gotta show you my shirt. Look at it. Oh, look at it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at the arm. What's your favorite scary movie? Look at the back. Look at the back. Hold on, I gotta squat. I gotta squat. Mm, it's so good. It's so I'm like, like, why? Like, you would think I'm like Italian the way I'm like, oh, I need to calm down. Anyways, so like the last milestone, which was 5,000 subscribers, we did a Q&A video and now we're at 10,000 subscribers and we're doing a Q&A video, so. All right, so I'm gonna try and get through as many as I can. So if I do not get to your question, I apologize, but also a few of the questions that were asked were actually answered in the previous Q&A video, so you can check that out, because the answer exists. All right, so now we will get into this. All right, let's see. First question, have you considered doing more Asian horror? Things like Obscura, Nori, I don't know how to say that. The Eye, The Newer Incantation. Also, I'd love to see you do the Grudge remake movies with SMG for a fun time. So I have not heard of the movies that you mentioned. Although I think, is The Eye the one with Jessica Alba? Cause I've seen that. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure. So here's the thing with that is in regards to like the requests and movies that I'm gonna be doing on the channel, it's entirely possible that there is going to be more Asian horror. Like 100% The Ring and The Grudge will be on the channel at some point because those, both of those films, the American remakes are some of my favorite movies of all time and also Sarah Michelle Gellar, obviously. But, what was I saying? After Chucky season two ends and after we're done with Hannibal, aside from Chucky next year, assuming that it gets a season three and Yellow Jackets, I'm probably not gonna do any more TV on the, like, the YouTube channel. TV will be purely on Patreon. What? Television uh, shows take up a lot of space on the channel and y'all never, like literally y'all never stop coming through with the movie recommendations. And because of that, like the list, it just, it, it continues to grow. That's what she said. <laughs> and I want to be able to get through that. So it's significantly easier if I just do movies on the channel. We're getting to all of the sequels to the films that I watched, you know, over the last year and a half. Like we're going to have, you know, Slumber Party Massacre 2. We're going to have Silent Night, Deadly Night 2, all stuff like that. So because it's opening up the door for so many more movies, I am sure that there is going to be plenty of Asian horror on here. And also Incantation, I watched that shit and I, not again. I'm gonna pass on that one. Question number dos. What do you think about Will and Hannibal's friendship slash relationship? <sighs> okay, so, <laughs> so first of all, as majority of you know, I love Will Graham. I, oh. Yes, but what do I think about Hannibal and Will's friendship and relationship? It begs the question of whether or not if Hannibal wasn't a uh, psychopathic serial killer who eats people, whether or not he and Will would have still had sort of the same connection. Part of me thinks they would have, and and if so, like I'm I'm fully on board for them, you know, being in a relationship or whatever together. But the other part of me, I like I genuinely believe that it was a relationship slash friendship that w was largely circumstantial because of the events. Like, I don't necessarily know if they would have been drawn together had they not gone through everything that they've gone through. Like, do I believe that the connection is genuine? 100%. Do I believe that it is healthy? Obviously not. Like, he keeps trying to f***ing kill him. So, well, no, they both keep trying to kill each other. So I, I need them to stay far away from, from each other. Hannibal can go to prison or 
or the electric chair or the, uh, what, uh, the take them out back and f-ing shoot them like Lassie or whatever that was. And Will, he can come over to my address. He's he's delicious. I mean, I really do mean that. That's a delicious man right there. Question number three. Other than Buffy, who is your favorite character in Sunnydale? Uh, Faith, 100%. I'm obsessed with her. Somebody <laughs> somebody commented uh, the other day about Buffy and they were like, growing up, I wanted to be Buffy. As an adult, I realized I'm Faith. And I would be like, yeah, that's 100%. Buffy is obviously my favorite character and I relate to her a lot, but I also can understand Faith. I think Faith is a very damaged character. Hey, Queen. Faith goes through a lot, and Faith has felt very isolated. Hey, Queen. So her, maybe not murder, but like a lot of her actions and and the way that she, you know, comes about things and her redemption and stuff like that. I relate to it, and I understand it, and I love the character of Faith. I actually have on the back of my neck. Uh, it says five by five. I have that tattoo. Hey, girlfriend. Bad time. Question number four. What is one movie you've watched, horror or not, that you would never ever watch again, even if someone said that they'd pay you, and why? Was it bad plot, bad acting, etc.? There is a movie that I watched, and it is called A Serbian Film, and I will never fucking watch that movie again. That movie was horrible, that movie was stupid, that movie was devoid of artistic merit, and the only reason that I watched that movie is because on Reddit or Dreddit, if you're Mindy. Hey, Queen. It constantly would come up on the list of most disturbing horror movies, scariest horror movies. There's nothing scary about the film. I guess it depends on your idea of disturbing because it's a lot about, it, it, like, it's not like a slasher movie. It's not a supernatural movie. It's basically like a really disgusting episode of Law & Order SVU. <laughs> that goes on for two hours, has an R rating, and just seems to exist for shock value. I mean, maybe other people like it. Obviously, other people like it. I, it's just, it's not for me. It's not something that I enjoyed. It's not something that I connected with. It's not something that I would ever watch again. It, it was, it, that shit was bad. Number five, have you ever been to Spirit Halloween? I, hell yeah, I, I live and breathe Spirit Halloween. Question number six, are you going to see Halloween ends? Really, queen? <laughs> Have y'all met me? Uh, hell yeah, hell, hell, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes! Now, eventually, I will have like a rewatch reaction on the channel for Halloween Ends, but uh, starting with H2O, I've seen every one of them in theaters for the first time, my first time viewing it. That's why I saw it in theaters versus doing a first time reaction on the channel. And yes, I did see it. It's surprising everyone, including myself, because let me tell you, I was shook. I loved it. I loved it. I know everybody seems to hate it. I loved Halloween ends. Mm. So good. Question number seven. Yes, Nick, I have a question. How are you so wonderful? Well, as a wise, wise woman once said. I was born this way. Police! Help! Police! Help! Okay, number eight. And I, I think we're on number eight. I wrote it down, but then I forgot that I was writing it down. <laughs> okay, number eight. Have you ever watched Stranger Things? And if so, do you ship Mike and Will or Eleven and Mike? Yes, I've, I've watched Stranger Things. I love Stranger Things. I am completely caught up. Eddie, Eddie Munson is everything to me. I <laughs> Take me with you. I belong down there. In the darkness. Who do I ship? I don't really ship any of them, to be honest with you. I don't ship uh, Mike and Will because Will is the gay one. Mike is not gay. And well, technically, they haven't even had the balls to allow Will to say that he's gay, even though it's obvious but yeah like honestly i don't i don't ship any of them i think realistically what needs to happen is they need to let will come out of the closet completely because that scene in the car with him crying was heartbreaking they need to let him come out of the closet and they need to let him go to a f-ing barber who knows how to cut hair because what they have done to that character's hair for the last four seasons is unacceptable
Question number nine. What is your zodiac sign? You look like a Taurus, Libra, Cancer, 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 or a Pisces. I am a Pisces. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Question number 10. Did you ever have a girlfriend in the past? <laughs> Not judging. <laughs> That's what they said. Yes, I've had a girlfriend in the past. When I was in high school, I dated a girl for like two or three years. And then there was another girl when I was in high school that I wanted to date. A fun little, <laughs> fun little fact. The girl that I dated for a couple years in high school, uh, when we broke up, a large part of why we broke up was because I didn't want to have sex with her or like touch her in that, she, she didn't have a penis. Hungry? Mm, mm. I don't like Sundays. Oh, it's not a Sunday. It's a banana split. Question number 11. What TV show or movie universe would you spend the rest of your life in if it was possible to do so? I mean, probably Buffy, but only if I could like not die, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, probably Buffy, probably Buffy. Like, honestly, I always think like, I love WandaVision. WandaVision is one of my favorite things that the MCU has done. And basically, if you swapped out me and Wanda and I did the exact same thing that Wanda did, I would have recreated Sunnydale. Deal with it. What are your cat's names? Actually, I'm, th that is a lie. Nobody asked me that. I just want to show off my cat. So I'm going to show off my cats. Say hi to the camera. So this is Beerus. Say hi, Beerus. Look cute. Beerus is my little fat boy. His full name is Lord Beerus, destroyer of Universe 7, his holy fatness. And he's cute, and he's fat, and I love him, and he's my little spooky cat. Where's that other little bitch? And this beautiful angel sent from the heavens above is my baby girl. Her name is Zan. Her full name is Zan Winchester Schmeckles. First of her name, Breaker of Chains. And she is the greatest thing ever. I mean, I love my other cat too. Hopefully he doesn't watch this video, but I, this, this one. I love her so much, I love her so much. Okay, go away. Okay, I think that was question 12. So anyway, <laughs> let's get back to it. Congratulations, babe. I'm so happy for you, but I was wondering, besides horror, what is your favorite genre? Also, what is your favorite movie? Oh, this is from Carla. Thank you for asking questions, Carla. Um, okay, what is... This is a two-parter question, technically. So, uh, besides horror, what is your favorite genre? I mean, like, um, I don't know. Thriller? Suspense? Uh, basically anything that, like, elevates my heart rate, which I guess would technically also include porn. Also, what is your favorite movie? So my favorite movie of all time, regardless of genre, is the original 1978 Halloween. Um, but I would say like my favorite movie that is not uh, like a horror movie would be uh, Drive with Ryan Gosling. Question number 14. Will you getting, wait, hold on a second. I'm hooked on phonics. What the, f how do I read? Will you be getting into Giallo? Let me, let me tell you a little secret about Giallo. I don't know what that is. I know, like, I've heard it, but I don't know what the f*** it is. Oh, you know what? I actually recently asked a friend what this was, and I already forgot what he said. Let me see. Fucking idiot. In Italian cinema, giallo is a genre of mystery fiction and thrillers and often contains slasher, crime fiction, psychological thriller, psychological horror, sexploitation, and less frequently supernatural horror elements. Girl, what? That's a lot. That's a real big umbrella. What? Let me, let, let's see. What films do y'all got in this giallo shit? Orgasmo? What the f*** is that? What have you done to Solange? Solange Knowles? Who? The Neon Demon? Oh, I, I've seen The Neon Demon. The Neon Demon is beautiful. The Neon Demon was directed by Nicholas Winding Refn, who directed Drive. Stage Fright. Um, Stage Fright is on my list to watch next year. Suspiria. I've seen Suspiria. Deep Red. I've heard of Deep Red, but I've not seen it. Yeah, let's put it this way. If enough people request it, I will 100% watch it. I'm not like, like, like I said, I know I've heard the term and I know that it's associated with horror movies, but I, I don't... I don't know really much about it, so educate me. All right, question number 15. Yay, by the way, what will you show? What? What does that mean? Oh, because I said that I won't show feet. What will you show? What you've seen? What is in the frame? Y'all little heathens. 
16. If you had to eat only one food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner forever, what would you choose? Chicken nuggets, 100%. Chicken nuggets are my f***ing favorite food. I don't care if people say that that's for children. I don't care. Chicken nuggets are so good. And, uh, oh my god. Y'all eat, yeah. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? Number 17. What is your ideal recasting for a remake slash reboot of Halloween? Oh, girl, that's a good question. They do not need to remake Halloween again. They should stop. Like, I fully expect that within the next five to 10 years, they will undoubtedly reboot the Halloween franchise again, which I'm fully on board for, because I feel like at this point, we're, we're getting into the like the, the, the territory where it, you can't make fun of it for having so many different like continuities and timelines, because it's basically become like the, the, the 007 franchise. You have a set of films that is played by one actor and it's like one version. And then a couple years later, you get a new version of it. I'm fine with that. That to me is really, really cool. If we were to do a reboot, I think the best way to do it would be to just, hey, y'all remember Michael Myers, he did whatever in 1978, and preferably both Halloween 1 and 2. Both of them. Not just the first one. Both of them. And like, just have him be like the boogeyman. Like, we don't have to have all these crazy connections and ties and characters from previous movies. Just have him be the spirit of Halloween, and he shows up and starts killing people. That's all you really need. <laughs> The next question. What is your dream guy like? I don't know. I mean, if we're talking about like physical stuff, like I love a beautiful smile. There's something about eyes that I really, really like. Oh, ooh, ooh. If, you, if you're familiar with the actor Benjamin McKenzie, he was on The O.C., he was on Southland, he's on Gotham. Is Gotham even still on? But like his eyes, the shape of his eyes, I don't know, there's just something about it. There's just something about it. Um, I mean, I like a, a, a man with a... Um, but if, if we're going to talk about personality and stuff like that, I like somebody who's really, really kind, somebody who doesn't judge and listens to you and supports you. You know, but anyways, none of that shit matters because team forever alone. Next question and last question. What are your top five slasher horror movies? Halloween, Scream 2, Halloween H2O, Scream, and I know what you did last summer. Those would be my five. Well, I also feel like that's a little bit of a cheap answer because I don't, I shouldn't like pick multiple from a franchise. So we'll say Halloween, the original, Scream 2, the best one. I know what you did last summer for Helen's chase scene alone. Um, I mean, I, Nightmare on Elm Street is considered a slasher flan, uh, franchise. Uh, what would be number four? Uh, number four would be Wes Craven's New Nightmare. And number five, ah, I would say f uh, number five is technically, there's multiple because I can't, like I love all of these movies so much, but like things like Urban Legend, Valentine, Child's Play 2, Bride of Chucky, When a Stranger Calls, the remake, and I don't give a f I stand by it. I stand by it. I love it. I mean, like, I, like I love Jason X, but I love Freddy vs. Jason, but I really like Friday 13 Part 2. Pick your favorite <laughs> from the list that I just gave you, and that'll be number five. <laughs> That concludes the q and A. I I hope that you guys had a good time. Thank you guys for, uh, you know, supporting and subscribing and commenting and liking and watching. It means the world to me. And oh my God, I'm so excited to get through the next couple of months to be able to get through, start really diving into the list of your guys' recommendations. Everybody who sends me messages, people who draw photos of me, all of this stuff. Like, it's just, this is, this is crazy to me. This is crazy to me. I am a little boy who was a horror horribly picked out and had no friends and now people are drawing pictures of me. So that's crazy. Uh, just a giant, big, warm, love, sloppy. Thank you, kiss from me to you from my uh, empty cold storage shed where my heart should be. <sighs> yeah, uh, I don't know how to close out this video. So <laughs> comment something below and stay spooky.